Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at a quick review of expanding two brackets for your level 2 algebra. So here goes. Uh, first off, I think if you have forgotten it, I uh, hope you haven't, uh, it is basically using the FOIL method. Uh, there are so many different ways of doing this guys. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the one that um, I prefer working, which is basically x times x, which is x squared, and then x times 2, which is 2x, negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x, and negative 3 times 2, which happens to be negative 6. Simplifying this, I've got x squared, and because we have 2x and negative 3x as like terms, this will become x squared minus x minus 6. Uh, looking at question B, I kid you not, no matter how many times people do quadratics, they always end up doing this as a mistake. They look at this and they straight away write this as x squared plus 16. Just remember that if you are one of those folks that did this, this is incorrect because you are actually missing that middle term. Get into the habit of actually writing, whenever you see that little squared, is to put it up like this, x plus 4 times x plus 4. So following on the procedures, we're going to get x squared, x times 4 is 4x, 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 times 4 is 16. You've got your like terms in the middle there, which is 4x and 4x. So combining them, you're going to get 8x got x squared in the front leave it as it is and we've got 16 here now looking at question c here this is um, going to lead into difference of two squares now what i mean by that is that because if you look at it you've got the first term is the same in both of these brackets and the second term the numbers are the same but the symbol is different all right now i'm going to work this through but um, in reality, you don't actually need to do all this working. If you can go from this first line to the last line, uh, you can actually do that as well. And I'll show you how to get there in an easier way. But we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And then 3x times positive 2 is 6x. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And then negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Now... What you'll notice is that the middle part here is going to become zero because of the two like um, the plus 6x and the minus 6x. And you end up with 9x squared minus 4. So what you could have actually done is because if you look at the two parts that I've highlighted in the first line, you've got 3x times 3x, which is equal to 9x squared. And likewise, when you have negative 2 multiplied by positive 2, you're actually going to get negative 4. So you could potentially just go from this to this line here straight away without having to actually do all of that working out cool guys that is the short video for a quick review for uh, expanding two brackets all right guys that's basically it for this video uh, as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be some playlists popping up check them out and thank you for watching